Okay, so I have this sort of idea that the Helix models are getting better as they go. Now, go with me on this. So I'm imagining that they've sort of refined some processes and maybe because they've done this quite a few times now and like over the years learned new best practices and stuff. So for instance in that intro I was using the Princeton which is one of the kind of newer models from 3.0 I think it was and I think that's one of my kind of favourite models in there probably and it seems to maybe do some of the things that I miss from some of the other amps like the Fender Twin perhaps as kind of like less bass the, the Princeton feels like it's got enough bass and is moving air in a way that the Fender Twin doesn't necessarily without some other kind of tweaks um, and that cab is in there so I guess what's cool about the new stuff that's coming from the Helix is that also it's not just kind of the things that people expect you know so you don't necessarily just have to have a Fender Twin Plexi you know these kind of normal things of Vox AC30 or whatever we're now getting to more interesting kind of models potentially and things that are in there for a reason like some of the questions that the Helix guys might be asking or the Line 6 guys might be asking is what have we already got and what is this new amp going to bring that we didn't have before um, so you don't necessarily get you know a million flavours of the same type of amp but instead you're getting kind of different pieces which fill in a new gap so you know the orange rocker verb for instance was filling that space because it's something different I think the new models for me are kind of interesting I think there's things like the Mesolone style which was added later there's things like the litigator I think which was added later the Princeton that was added later the rocker verb the Friedman was added later um, I think these newer models are to me more interesting than some of the older classic things that came from the kind of old Line 6 amp room and so it's interesting to see what's going to come next I also think it's really cool that Ben Adrian's own amps have kind of started to make it into the Line 6 amp room so that they're modelling those and that Princeton is one of Ben's amps the cartographer is another I think that's really cool anyway I wanted to jump into this preset and just show you what was going on there I think that's a good argument for trying to keep things simple these days for me. Um, you know, if I don't have to tweak the thing too much, then it shows me that I dig that model, probably. So here's the model, really quite straightforward. So at the end, we got a dual delay with those kind of settings. Vibrato mode I've got on, um, mix 22. At the end, we got glitz because I like the way that one sounds, 62, 6.2 decay, mix at 16. Um, then what I've got going on here really is I've got the US Princess with the default settings. Basically, I brought, brought those up and they sounded good to me. Um, I've turned up the channel volume though, and you don't need to touch the presence because the real Princeton doesn't have a presence control. And didn't touch anything else on it. I just added this tremolo in here, brought the speed down to 2.2, the intensity up to 5.7, or down to 5.7, didn't touch anything else. And then cab wise, I think I've got the 1x10 US Princess with the 57, and then the 1x12 Lead 80 with the 160. Kind of like the way that sounded. And then just the Timmy in front, so gain at 3.8, everything else default, clipping up. And so that gives you your few tones. So pretty easy to get that tone. I've got an LA Studio comp there as well with the mix at 41%, peak reduction at 10, gain at 4.7, level at plus two. That's kind of optional though. But pretty easy to get that tone going and I think it sounds really good. So what are your favorite new models in the Helix? Let me know in the comments. Cheers.